Hey, this is a robot here at scooterwest.com. Want to show you the running light kit that we have. It fits pretty much all the, the newer Vespa models. It basically, you add a hole to the, uh, the rear turn signals and you get red running lights in addition to the amber turn signals that are already there. Real easy kit to install. Uh, the kit includes the wiring harness with the LED bulbs, a few zip ties to secure the wiring, and also the half inch drill bit to drill the hole to install the, um, the LED bulbs. Also, while we have the rear end apart, we're going to replace an incandescent bulb that's included on the LX with a LED bulb. And this will last longer. It's kind of got a more brilliant right, red light to it. A few of the basic tools you need to install the turn signal running light kit. You'll need a half inch drill. Uh, electrical tape, a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two turn signals, and a Sharpie or some type of permanent marker to mark the spots where you want to drill. All right, to start to install the, the running light kit, you need to remove the two screws for your turn signals, one on each side. Once you get the screw out, you'll be able to pop the lens out, kind of push it out from the back, and you'll see the socket for the the turn signal bulb just turns about an eighth of a turn, then pulls right out. And where we want to put the LEDs is you want to put it right off to the side here. And you can mark, mark a hole. It needs the, you can't put the LEDs right where the, the bulb is, but just off to the side. You mark a spot right here. And then to keep the drill bit from going all the way through, you need to make some type of stop. So only want to drill a little bit in. We'll just make a makeshift stop with, with electrical tape here. And that will keep, keep the drill from running all the way through. So we have the lens right here. Be careful not to drill into your hand or something. It's a brand new bit, so it should be pretty sharp. But right when it breaks through, it's going to kind of want to grab the whole thing. And right there is kind of where you got to work it a little bit, maybe get some of the chips out. Sometimes you can just take it and manually turn it just to cut the last little bit out. If you, let the, if you run the drill too fast, you're going to end up running right into the back of the turn signal. So there's a clean hole right there. If there's any debris in there, you could shake it out. And go ahead and reinstall the, the bulb, the turn signal bulb that is. Pop it in. Reinstall the screw. All right, we drilled the hole on the right turn signal. So before we install the lens, you have the wiring. It's a little bit long because we designed this kit to work on a couple different scooters. But you can feed the whole, the whole assembly right through the, um, the hole where the right turn signal is normally placed. Um, this, this tap, you want to tap into the wiring that runs to your license plate light or the tail light. And on all Vespa and Piaggio products or newer stuff, it's going to be a yellow with black stripe and also a black, black wire for the ground. And I just reached back here and pulled the, uh, the license plate light, light off and it's very similar to the same way, the same kind of light as this. And you can see we've already put an LED in here. This is a a 12V194 LED, and they light up nice and bright. Real popular option to sell through our showroom. And you'll see the yellow with black stripe wire and the black wire. You may need to cut a little bit of electrical tape back. Take care not to cut into the insulation. So I've exposed some of the 
And with the quick taps, you'll want to un unthread the little gray. So there's your black wire. Oops, the other one popped out. And go ahead and thread this in. So the black's tapped. And same with the yellow, yellow wire here, it's tapped now. And I'm unth turning it counterclockwise a little bit before I thread it back into the gray. Both of these are now tight. Now that we have the wires tapped, you can turn on your ignition, make sure the lights work. There you go. It's tapped in right here. Go ahead and turn your ignition off. You may want to use some of the zip ties that are included to secure some of the wiring. So put one zip tie right where you made the, the wire tap connection. Um, we'll go ahead and feed the longer wire over to your left turn signal. And I'll have that popped out right there. And you'll see that there's a little bit extra slack. This extra slack, you'll want to zip tie it to the existing wiring that's in the turn signal. You don't want this tire wiring to get caught up in the rear tire. You can return the, um, the, the license plate light back to the To the socket it goes in, so pop that in. And now we have a turn signal to install. Pop it in place and then turn it eighth of a turn clockwise. And we'll go ahead and pop the turn signal lens in. Place the screw. And install the LED bulb to the newly drilled hole in the turn signal. And do the same on the left side. With the remaining slack, zip tie it to the existing turn signal wiring. You could feel it underneath right here, and I'll just go ahead and feed the zip tie and tie it off. Keep it out of the way of the rear tire. Turn the ignition on, and voila, got running lights that are in your turn signals. And the turn signals are still plenty bright enough to overpower the red lights that are in there. You may want to replace the stock incandescent bulb in your tail light with the LED bulb. Pretty simple to do. Two screws secure in the, the tail light lens. Remove the two screws, have one of them out. Pull the lens away. And you can see there's a socket in here. Pulls out the same way as the turn signal ones. Turns about an eighth of a turn counterclockwise. And voila, you got the bulb socket out. Push the bulb in and turn it counterclockwise an eighth of a turn. You'll see that these bulbs have a key to them. There's one pin that's higher, one that's a little bit lower. The, the pin that's a little lower goes on the opposite side of the wiring and push it in, turn it clockwise about eighth of a turn, and re replace the bulb socket. And replace the lens. Take care not to over tighten these screws, it will, will crack the taillight lens. The 
voila, instant LED tail light there.